Hi, my name is Keith Cooper, Northlight Images, and in this short video, I'm going to show an example of printing canvas on the Epson ET8550. Now, ET8550 is an eco tank printer, so it has ink tanks rather than cartridges, and it's also interesting in that it has a pigment black ink and a dye black ink in addition to the colour inks, which means it behaves slightly different to many other printers in terms of how it prints. Now I've got a canvas here, this is a sheet, A3 sheet, this is a 380 gram canvas. It's a, a matte canvas, so um, I'm not expecting brilliant sharp colours out of it. Uh, there are glossy canvases if you want that, or you can even varnish it once you've done it. But what I'm going to do is print an image using the Epson Print Layout software and I'm using its gallery wrap option. Now that allows me to print at this size, take a stretcher and put the print over it, attach it and I've got a print, that uh, a canvas print that I can hang on the wall. Um, I would say that if you're going to put the prints anywhere um, where they're going to be exposed to moisture or anything like that, it's well worth considering giving them a spray or something, some protective film to protect the surface and they will last. I've got a print here, it's been in our kitchen for over 10 years, it's a canvas print, it was varnished. It looks as brilliant colours as it does the day I printed it. I'm not a great fan of canvas, and I normally print it on a much larger printer for, for larger prints, but with this um, A3 plus 13 inch by 19 inch sheet, um, I could put this over an A4 stretcher with no problem. But anyway, I've loaded it here. I've set the paper type or media type to VFA, Velvet Fine Art here, the Fine Art paper printing uh, media setting for this printer. I've also got a custom profile which I've produced for this particular canvas that will give me more accurate colours. But other than that, I'm printing it much as I would any other print. But anyway, to the computer and we'll print it. Now, I've set this for Velvet Fine Art A3 rear feed. I'm using in the gallery settings, uh, in the layout settings, a gallery wrap. Now, the canvas size I've specified at A4. Now, you can set custom sizes here. There are all sorts of standard sizes available, but I've set custom size of A4. And if you look at the image, you can see there are guidelines, these aren't printed by the way, showing where the image edge comes and where the uh, soft focus mirror image has been applied around it. There are other ways you can handle this. You can have a diet, you know, reflection, you have solid color. Um, there are all kinds of things. I can adjust how fuzzy it is, for example. In the color settings, I'm so using an ICC profile, and I'm using the profile I've created for this Artist Matte Canvas 380 gram. Using the Velvet Fine Art setting, I'm printing with perceptual rendering intent, uh, just because the color looks a little bit better on that with this particular image. So there we are. Um, I'm printing. I'm using Epson Print Layer because um, it's very convenient to use. The image is actually opened in Photoshop. You can use other software. And then I transferred it directly into the Print Layout software. Um, it's a free download. It's worth doing. It's one of the reasons I show it here is one, it's useful, but also it's the same on Windows and Macs. And um, I'm using an old Mac laptop here. It just makes it a bit easier to explain it. All the usual whirrings from a printer when it's thinking about printing. And um, it's fed perfectly well. And it's going to take a few minutes actually printing this. Here comes the print. Um, I can see the uh, crop marks around the edge of the image and uh, it looks fine on this paper, or this canvas I should say. It will fit the image and overlap to whatever size media you've put in. So you're almost certainly going to need to trim this after you've, uh, after you've used it. Now I've created a custom profile for this canvas and uh, all the custom profiles that I've made will be listed 
in the full written review when I've uh, finished that and the custom profiles will be available on request um, for non-commercial use. Now if you're looking for doing prints like this and you want accurate colour then ideally you need a profile made for the specific canvas that you're using on this particular printer. Um, you might choose to mix, mix and match other profiles but I wouldn't guarantee your results. So if you're going to be getting a canvas like this uh, look for suppliers who give you a profile with it. Either they'll produce custom profiles or they will actually supply profiles for it because it makes quite a difference. And certainly if accurate uh, good quality colour is important to you, you really need to use profiling. Uh, it's the best way of doing it. Uh, canvas is not a supported media type on this printer. It's a consumer level printer. It doesn't have the wide range of media settings that you'd expect on a dedicated photo printer, such as like the P700 or the larger P900, who have lots of different settings. That means that um, this is produced at the Velvet Fine Art Paper setting. It works fine. Um, don't get too bothered by the names. If you've got a paper that's uh, not mentioned in the listing here, just go for something similar. So, you know, if you've got a semi-gloss paper, then there's a semi-gloss setting. If you've got a luster paper, there are no luster settings, but semi-gloss will probably do. And if not that, then glossy might be okay. You can experiment a bit, but ideally you do want custom profiles for it. So, there we have our canvas print, gallery wrap. So, uh, you'll need to trim this and attach it to a spreader. Uh, the image, you can see the reflection at the bottom here. This is for the sides of the print. Uh, the image was taken when I was driving across one of the flat bits of Oregon a few years ago. Um, colours come out well, uh, it's a nice sky, the uh, wheat field shows up well as well. Do check when you're printing whether your particular image suits the relative colour metric or the perceptual rendering intent, they may vary slightly. I've used the uh, perceptual one here because I know that this particular image will work well with that. But there is no hard and fast sort of, yes, you should use one or the other. Um, that's the print there, those colours, fairly light colours. This is the uh, profiling sheet that I made uh, when I created the custom profile and gives you an idea of the intensity of some of the other colours. This is uh, how you make a profile. You print out, in this case, nearly uh, 3,000 colour patches and I've got a device that reads the colours of all of these, jumbles the data up, does a few calculations and that's how you create a profile. Um, so that's for the custom profile for that. I hope this is uh, of some use. Uh, please feel free to ask some questions. Please subscribe to the channel if you find it useful and tell other people about it. Always appreciated. So uh, thank you very much.